everyone. Um, this is just a mashup of a few things I've done playing Real Racing 3. Um, it's obviously, it's a, it's a cool game. I mean, cars are just, they added Formula 1 in December of 2019. It made for a really cool look. It, it, was, it stunned the Real Racing 3 community and uh, a, a, a lot of gamers that played the game. Um, I do not currently own a sim when I'm making this video, which is why I'm using this. Because in cockpit view in this game, it is extremely hard to actually navigate. But I, somehow I've learned how to. Like, everyone's complaining, like, oh, you got a rod in front of your head. No, no, no. Well, um, it, it, it's not too bad. Uh, I obviously, I switched to T-cam here. Uh, we're trying to squeeze him as much as we can to the inside, but we go off the track and almost crash it. So here we are. Later, we've passed him. We're coming up on Valtteri Botez, and we're coming. We're coming. And, yeah, he spins out right in front of us. So, um... We let them by, uh, and we're going to try and go right back at them. And we're going to pass, we're going to attempt to pass him. Uh, and now that we've passed him, we're going to try and pass uh, Valtteri Botas. And let's see, can we go? We make a move up the inside, but it didn't work. And we're going to try and gain on him coming into the hairpin as much as we can. Late breaking. And um, we end up going down the straight. And we move, make a move to the inside, but it's not good enough. So, um, yeah, that move was not good enough. But, um, we, we almost made it there. We almost did. I'm going to give it another go in this race. We're bump drafting him down that back straight. We make a left. And so that does it. We win that first race. So that did a lot of goodness to our fame and stuff in the game. We got 21,000 MS, uh, which I didn't know why they added it. We reached the current for that day. And this is a cool picture I got. Uh, very cool one. And I think that it represents my driving style a lot. This is when we were at Monza, and it's, this track is a powerhouse, I mean, it's just the cars are so heavy compared to the, how light the track is, like they're just heavy, they don't get as much speed on the straights as if, say, they weighed 500 kg, but they have to weigh 700, and if they weighed half of that, I would imagine that they go a lot faster. The Academy car is that they made for the game, it's just so heavy. Like, it don't work as we spin Albon off there. It may have been Verstappen, Verstappen, I don't know. But we are catching up, that was his bad. We pass Hamilton, pass Cortez, and we just run off from this point on. And I noticed a few things when I was playing. Coming up to Ascari, most people will break very early, but if you can get a nice, like, rotate the car through there, it, get, it, it will hook up really well. Um, as we come through the chicane, almost bottle it. Um, we are doing really good here, and we are coming by, and I'm going to let you hear the engine noises. we come across the line we won the race it was a great race I have to say I, I, except for the first part when one of the Red Bulls had got in front of me but I have also apologized for the audio issues let's continue on alright so 
so off we go then for this race. This is an interesting one. I don't really know what's going to happen. So, wow, we got through turn one there pretty good. And we're going to be looking to make another move. Let's see what happens. So we got the other move done and now we are going down the back straight and we are being practically pushed by the other F1 but we managed to late break and pass the person ahead of us and as we do that we are going to go around the outside and try and pass Valtteri Botez um, on the outside coming on the exit of that corner and we do. Um, and this is Hamilton and we are going to try but we slid a bit and we lost momentum. We're going to have to draft and see if we can make it into turn one. Can we make it? Yes, we can. We've made it into turn one. And it's a nice exit as well. So we are going to head all the way down to the chicane. And we are going to just accelerate away from the pack.
Bam! There you go. I lost audio for this race again. My bad. Um, but we were just plowing through the field like usual. Um, so yeah, the cars on this one are a lot better handling and stuff. So uh, yeah, they, uh, they they were really good. Uh, went through the corners decently, and uh, yeah, plenty of other things. So they basically right here past Nico Hulkenberg, a little bit of a corner cut there. This game's all about how much you can cut the corner without slowing your car down. Because if you get on the grass in this game, it has a feature like a bunch of other racing games where it just slows you down instantly. But um, if that feature didn't exist, uh, and it was, I, what I would rather do is have them make it more of a simulation where you basically, when you get on the grass, uh, your tires can have that grass look on them and it gives you less grip for a while for like three corners until basically you, you get the grass and stuff off your tires um, which they've done in a lot of other F1 games but yeah uh, just enjoy this whole race it's pretty cool and um, I think I've lost audio for this part as well so hopefully you all enjoy the rest of the race it's uh, almost done I think there you go everyone that's an end to another episode please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content and also comment in the comment section if you want to see more real racing 3 content and go karting and over formula 1 content in rc i am your um i am your rc's and youtube and go karts youtube channel uh see you again later bye